Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Frank again. Welcome to my channel today. We're going to be covering the best Python module for extracting tabular data from PDF files. You know, the Python module is called Camelot. It's very new. It's just released uh, October last year. And uh, that was really cool. It makes very, very easy to extract tabular data from PDF. Uh, how, how I actually end up in Camelot is because uh, I was actually given a task and work to write a uh, Python script, you know, that's gonna extract tabular data from PDF files, you know. I was like searching, searching, searching. It's not until I found Camelot, you know. I found the documentation is really, is well written and uh, examples given there are fantastic. You know, they're just fantastic with uh, PDF tabular data extracting, you know. So, so with that being said, uh, let's just get started. Uh, the first thing you want to probably just head over to the uh, Camelot project homepage. So that is right here. Uh, I will put the link in the video description. And uh, their documentation is fantastic here. As you can see here, it gives some you know, nice code code snips how you can actually use Camelot okay uh, with that being said uh, I also created a guideline for you guys myself here so you can following the first two steps uh, the first step is we're gonna install dependencies the first dependency we're gonna install is uh, <clears throat> is called something called a like ghost script so you don't actually have to understand how ghost script works you know you just have to uh, like install it <laughs> that's it you know really simple so if you're a Mac so you want to use brew to install your dependency in this case is ghost script so let me go to my terminal here so I'm gonna brew brew install ghost script I think I have already installed because uh, every tutorial that I'm doing, I always like do a little bit of, like practice before uh, actually. Uh, I think this is gonna take a while, but anyway. So so it says Google script is already installed. And uh, so let's go ahead. So if you are in Windows, so what you want to do is you want to head over to the Ghost Script homepage to download the Ghost Script. So you can just follow my guide here, and you click here, and it's guide you to the download homepage of Ghost Script. But if you do not want to follow my guide, <laughs> instead you can do do a quick Google search. You can say Ghost Script Windows Windows download. Okay, and it should give you the same link here. It will guide you to the same page. Okay, so depends on your system bed version. So uh, download public license, either 32 or 64. Yeah. Okay. So with GoScript installed in computer, so we can go ahead to use a our fantastic pip to install Camelot. So how, how you pip install Camelot is a bit different in this case. So you want to say pip install Camelot dash pi cv. So that's how you actually install Camelot instead of just saying pip install Camelot, you know. So or let's head over to my terminal again. So I just want to say pip install Camelot pi braces cv. Good. I think I also already had it, so I don't have to install it again. Okay. So with Ghost Script and Camelot installed, let's go ahead with the coding session for today. So I'm gonna save it to my desktop, and I'm gonna make a new directory for this case. Make dir. I'm gonna say Camelot PDF extract I'm gonna CD to that okay 
So now we, so let me show you the today the file that we're, we're going to be working on. So this is a PDF file that we're going to be uh, showing. So this PDF has a one table. So we're going to use Camelot to see if it's if it's if it's able to like actually extract this table from this PDF file. Okay. So let me close this file and uh, drag this PDF file to my project folder. Okay, Camelot PDF extract. And I go back to terminal because I'm going to uh, open the directory in my browser. So today I'm going to use Jupyter Notebook, which is my favorite, uh, you know, for interactive programming text editor or IDE, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And let's create a new script. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just call this a PDF extractor. Okay, good. Okay, now we are ready to fire up Ignite. Good. So first, we're gonna import a few things. Actually, only one things. Import Camelot. Okay. Then we want to read the PDF file here. So the PDF file here, uh, if you see the directory, is called foo.pdf, right? So we can say PD, PDF equals camelot.read PDF and passing the file name that you want to read, okay? So what this returns is actually very interesting. So you can actually check the type, type, PDF, so it says Camelot Core Table List. So what this does is actually it, re it returns the lists of tables. Like it's gonna tell you how many tables you have from this PDF file. You know, so in that set instead of saying PDF, let's just say tables, because it returns the numbers of tables that that is extracted from PDF file. Okay, so tables. So we can say tables, we can return tables. It says table list n equals one. So what this is saying is actually uh, how many how many like tables you have from that PDF file, okay? So let me check PDF zero. It says table shape seven seven. So this, this is meaning that uh, the first table has like seven rows and seven columns, okay? So what this is, does is actually, it returns a pandas data frame. This is actually a pandas data frame. This is a pandas data frame. So if you are familiar with pandas, so we can actually import pandas. Uh, we might not be able to use pandas today, but we can import. So, okay. so. Since this is a pandas data frame, you can actually uh, translate this into a pandas data frame. So let me say this is a, I can say first table equals tables zero. Then we translate this to the, we can translate this to a pandas data frame, table to d, dot df. So you were able to use the uh, df attribute from the first table to translate this into a pandas data frame. So translate Camelot or table object to a pandas df. Okay. So that is very cool. So this is how you actually actually work with the uh, tabular data extraction from uh, from Camelot. Okay. So if you have like several tables here, what you can do is you can do an iteration. You can say for tables, for table in tables. You can actually print uh, print table dot df. But of course, in this case, we only have one table, yeah. So just imagine like you have a huge PDF file that like you have lots of tables, you know. So this is how you actually to grab the each of the table and do some cool stuff with it. 
And now let me show you how to uh, how to actually output this like tabular data to to a CSV or Excel file. Yeah. Okay. So as we said before, the first table here is actually pandas data frame. So you can do a bunch of things with with the uh, pandas function as well. You can say first table dot to CSV. Okay. Because this is a pandas data frame. So it has the function of to CSV. So as you can see here, so we can pass in the file name, we can say four.csv, good, enter. So now it should uh, output a, a CSV file for us, okay. Now you see we have a full.csv file, okay. Uh, let me actually open that up. Okay, perfect, you see? Uh, this data is right away extracted from that PDF file. Okay, so let me show you another uh, cool stuff here. So instead of saying to CSV, you can also say first table dot to Excel as well. So, okay, you can say full dot xlsx. Run this again. Okay, now a new a new Excel file should be generated as well. Let's head over to the uh, directory full xsx okay open that up okay perfect of course you have index here so instead you might want to say first table to, to excel you want to say index index to false maybe uh, let me close this up okay run it again now this full.xlsx shouldn't shouldn't be having any index. So let's check it out. Okay, now perfect. So it has no index. So remember, any table that is extracted from the PDF file, you know, it is a pandas data frame. So you can do whatever you can do from pandas. You know, it's going to have the same functionalities. It's going to have the same attributes here. So you can, of course, check other uh, other stuff here. So you can say to, you know, the they have two CSV, to Excel, to HTML, to JSON as well. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty straightforward, guys. I think that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed this uh Camel tutorial, they're a really awesome project. And uh, if you're a Python developer, so considering uh, contributing to this project. And uh, otherwise, thanks for watching, like always. And uh, if you like the content, please give me a, a thumb up and uh, subscribe to my channel. If you don't like the video, uh, leave some criticisms and uh, you know, constructive you know, suggestions. That'll be cool. Okay. Okay. Thanks again. See you next time. Take care. Bye.